Stella confronted me and told me to share my husband with him, with her. And I was like, do you know this is a man of God? He's the man of God. When she said I should share my husband with her, that I'm being selfish for holding on with my husband, that if I don't really, if I don't allow my husband, if I don't share my husband with him, with her, she's going to take my husband from me. <laughs> it's funny. It was like that, but it happened. Before I know it, I got her number. All she would do was to condemn me every bit, every day. Condemn me every day. Every day. I have some of the ones I screenshot that Stella would say to me. Stella would say many things and I'm bringing it up so that you can see. One of these was that an, a, an AS and AS genotype can never be thus a misplaced marriage. I don't know how I can show it. Okay. Can... If you can see it, that's Stella. I overlooked it. The next day, it was naked demonstration of God's love. That's it. Then when I, that, uh, my husband never told me about his um, relationship with Stella, I got to know that he had a baby through her updates. And this I don't know if you are seeing it. I don't know if you are seeing it. This is it. I don't know if you are seeing it, if it is clear. This was part of the battles I was fighting, but I kept quiet. A lot. When I, in my inquisitiveness, I got some of the pictures him and, and my husband, uh, she and my husband were exchanging in their living room. This is Stella when she was pregnant. And the next is my husband. I kept it. I kept it. I didn't say nothing. I did not say anything. I, I don't want to go much. If he says I'm lying, you should come up and do the genotype of my children. Come up and do the genotype of my children. The three children are his. If he loves Stella, he would have told me that he wanted to go on with Stella instead of tormenting my life, involving his family, to torment me. Nobody knows the pain I went through. I beg him. Even up till November, I had ask him if Stella is now my wife, he should allow me accept that fact. I can stay with it. After all, I have known the pains I've bear all the whole years. I now see that he cannot separate himself from Stella, the prophetess in South Africa. But my major pains at that time that made me bitter was that Stella was always with him. Stella was always with him. Stella was always with him. And it is to my surprise that he got married to Stella. I'm just seeing that now with all this saga online. I'm shocked that he got married to Stella. I'm shocked. So I can't say anything more than 
my child's health status that he put out so that tomorrow my child will not say, Mommy, you didn't say anything. My three children are his. I've never, ever lived a promiscuous life, ever. I gave my life to Christ since I was six years old, and I've been in the faith. I'm sorry for those of you who said I wouldn't have said anything, but I'm sorry for my children's sake and their destiny. My husband is Brother Joshua Igela. If he says it's the end of it, it's not the end of life. God is with us all the time. God bless you all. Have a blessed day. Bye.